At the age of 94, renowned actress Gina Rowlands passed away. According to insiders, the two-time Golden Globe winner passed suddenly on Wednesday afternoon at her home in Indian Wells, California. She was flanked by her family, which included her 12-year husband Robert Forrest and her 58-year-old eldest daughter Alexandra Cassavetes. As of yet, the reason of death remains unknown. In the well-loved 2004 Ryan Gosling film The Notebook, directed by her son Nick Cassavetes, she played the aging version of actress Rachel McAdams' character Allie. Nick, 65, recently disclosed that his mother had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, just like her tragic role in The Notebook. In June 2024, he revealed that Gina had been fighting the illness for five years and was currently in full dementia. My mom has had Alzheimer's for the previous five years, so Nick remarked, I got her to play older Ally, and we spent a lot of time talking about Alzheimer's and wanting to be authentic with it. She has complete dementia. We experienced it, she acted it out, and now it's our fault. It's crazy. Despite having a lengthy Hollywood career, Gina's portrayal as old Ally in The Notebook turned the film into a timeless love tale. Based on Nicholas Sparks' 1996 novel, The Notebook is a moving tale of the love that blossoms between aristocratic Ally and working-class Noah, who transcend social norms and fall in love. The film alternates between the passionate youth of the odd couple and the present day, where an elderly Noah, posing as the Duke, narrates their story to his wife Ally, Gina Rowlands, a fellow resident of a nursing facility, from a notepad. In an attempt to help Ali remember him, Noah has been reading aloud from a notebook she wrote at the start of her sickness, rekindling their passion and sparking the spark between them despite her memory loss. Rowlands talked candidly about how playing Ali was influenced by her own mother's battle with the illness in a 2004 interview. It's just too difficult, so even though I went through it with my mother, I doubt I would have pursued it if Nick hadn't directed the movie. It was a challenging yet fantastic film. In June, Nick told Entertainment Weekly about a bittersweet recollection he had of directing his mother on The Notebook. Executives from the studio saw the finished product and asked for a reshoot. They specifically requested that Rollins express more emotion when her character finds her memories and meets her true love, Noah, James Garner. When Nick told his mother about the reshoots, she was not pleased and said, let me get this straight. Is it because of my performance that we're reshooting? She asked. Can you do it, Mom? I had questioned her as we were going to reshoots since it was one of those moments where Mama was furious. I can do anything, she says, the son of Roland recounted. I swear to you, in my father's life, this is true, she started crying the moment she saw, Garner. Tears were flying out of her eyes. And I thought, all right, we got that. That was the only incident I had difficulty with on set. In addition to being happy that the movie has become a cult classic in the romance genre after 20 years of release, Nick had fond memories of his mother and him during their time together on the set. Hearing how much time has passed is usually startling, but it makes sense. I'm just glad it's there, he says, and I'm very proud of it because it seems to have worked. Gina, a native of Wisconsin, Shown for seven decades on stage and in films before ending her illustrious career in 2014 at the age of 84. Her actor-director husband John Cassavetes, who passed away in 1989 and is the father of her three children, Nick, Alexandra, and 54-year-old Zoe, collaborated with her on many of her best performances. Together, they worked on ten films, most notably Gloria, 1980, and A Woman Under the Influence, 1974, for which she received Oscar nominations for Best Actress. Despite not winning an Oscar, she was awarded a Golden Globe for her performance in A Woman Under the Influence. She also acted as Marion Post, a philosophy professor who develops feelings for a mentally ill patient named Hope, in Woody Allen's 1988 film Another Woman. Regarding her television career, Gina has won four Emmy Awards. She is well known for her roles in several critically acclaimed TV miniseries and films, such as The Betty Ford Story, 1987. She was honored with a Golden Globe and an Emmy for her performance as the former First Lady. In 2009, Gina was nominated for her final Primetime Emmy Award for her outstanding guest role on the USA series Monk. After declaring her acting retirement in 2015, Gina's son Nick gave her an Honorary Academy Award. 23 years following the passing of her spouse John Cassavetes in 1989, 
Gina wed retired businessman Robert Forrest. Although they had been romantically involved since the early 2000s, they only got married in 2012. Robert has gone to several premieres and events with Gina in support of her work, such as The Notebook, 2004, Hysterical Blindness, 2002, and The Da Vinci Code, 2006.